One of the main core concepts of Tailwind CSS is utility classes. Basically, with HTML, what you will do, and using a traditional approach, for an element, you will first write HTML. And from parent to children, you will target this HTML element with classes. Then what you will do, you will write CSS, and this CSS will be related to your HTML element. So you will write one time CSS for one element. With Terrain CSS, we get the same result way faster with a lighter code base because we are using utility classes. Utility classes, it's classes already provided by Tailwind CSS to give the same result, but without writing any CSS. If you want to use flexbox, padding, max width, margin, background color, border radius, width, height, flex, whatever, you can relate to the Tailwind CSS documentation and just have your classes this way. So you will ask me the question, Guillaume, why not to use inline style instead of having those classes? Well, Tailwind CSS has many advantages over inline style. First, you have a predefined design system provided by Tailwind, which means that from the start, if you don't want to create a design system, you can easily use the pre-existing design system. Then with Terrain CSS, you can focus on responsive design from the start. So I give you an example. You are creating your application and you are adding your classes for the desktop tab and mobile. You can do it with responsive design at the same time because Tailwind is providing to you breakpoint prefixes and those breakpoint prefixes are simply media queries. Here we see that we've got a width by default and we want to change this width by default when we reach the breakpoint prefix medium, which is 768 pixels. I can just add the modifier MD on front of it and I will change the size when I will be uh, on min width 768 pixels. Okay, and you can do the same with large, uh, X large, etc, etc. So Tailwind CSS is very useful to work with responsive design immediately from the start. So you don't lose your time writing first the CSS for desktop, then writing the CSS for responsive. I was talking about modifiers, but modifiers also work for hover, focus, and all other elements that you can have in CSS. Let's give an example. Here I got a button and when I pass my mouse on it, we see that the color is changing, okay? It, this is because I use the utility classes with a modifier hover. And with the modifier hover, I can say change your color. It's also working with focus and active and it's also working with elements like last, hold and even, okay? Here we've got the, the example. We can just change the behavior on when we want to target the first, last element, etc., etc. It's also working with before and after pseudo element. Yes, Tailwind work with pseudo element, and we can also target, for instance, the placeholder, if you want to put them in italic, the list markers, that's an example, or the highlight text. Here I want to change the color of my highlight text. I can do it with Tailwind, simply with the modifier selection. The responsive breakpoints help us to work with that because you can stack, you can stack actually the modifiers and the utility classes, which is very useful. But another topic where Tailwind CSS is amazing, it's its dark mode. With Tailwind CSS, you can had what we call the prefers color schema. You can have several um, different color schema to your uh, Tailwind team, and you can use, of course, the dark mode. Here we've got an example. We can say that in dark mode, I want to change the color background, and I just had a dark on top of it, okay? And that's amazing because 
Tailwind CSS really hacked this thing of having a dark mode into your application or website. Personally, I use it all the time. However, the real force for me of Tailwind CSS, it's its customization system. With Tailwind CSS, you can customize all of it, all your framework. Actually, you can customize your team through a tailwind.config.js file. Because Tailwind is like an engine that will understand what sizes, what colors, what font family, what borders you want to use, and it will build on the fly, on its basis classes, the class that you need. Let me give you an example. On your tailwind.config.js, you will have a team object which will contain the screen size, so the breakpoints that we saw before, but also the colors, the font family. And if you want to keep the basis of Tailwind and right on top of it, you can use extend. And in extend, just rewrite what you just want to write again. But if you want to create your own team, which is cool, is that with the colors, you can say, hey, if there is no blue color, add this blue color and this is the code of the color. And the engine of Tailwind will dynamically create for you the background, the text color, the borders, everything that is related to colors. And then you will just have later to type text blue, BG blue, border blue, etc., etc. How amazing is this? And since I've, I have started to use Tailwind and use its customization system, I cannot work without. Of course, you can go way deeper into the customization because with Tailwind CSS, you can just uh, reuse your style. So here we've got an example. Here we are targeting the layer base after importing Tailwind and we can apply with the decorator at and apply the directive. We can say, hey, I want to create a class, but I want that this class is using an existing Tailwind class. You can do it with apply, okay? You can go deeper by creating also your component directly and using the directive and function theme. This directive and function theme is helping you to target directly uh, the basis of Tailwind and say, hey, I want the reference of the colors and in the colors, I want the white color. And that's sometimes very, very useful. It helps you actually to add your custom utilities and it helps you to add your custom classes. Most of the time you see that you are using the same classes and stuff and you would like to gather them into some class. It's possible with apply, but also you could create a class with apply and calling all the base that you need from Tailwind plus adding your own CSS. So you can stack uh, the base of Tailwind plus your custom element and your custom design. If you want to go deeper into the customization of Tailwind, you have also the option of writing plugins in JavaScript that will help you to basically uh, change your base or change your component and utilities provided by Tailwind. All right. Here we've got a quick example on how I can change all the H1 of my base, my components there and utilities down there. That's an example on how far you can go to write CSS with Tailwind and how far you can customize it.